I'm, I'm assuming clean bill of health uh, injury-wise. Uh, we've got a couple of couple of behind the scenes. We've got a couple of injuries which we're we're uh, we're having to sort of deal with at the moment. So, got a couple of behind the scenes from the game at the weekend. Able to tell me? You know, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say too much at the moment. You know, we've just got a couple of knocks and a couple. Probably we've got one or two who may be missing because of injury. Yeah. But in terms of the team, I guess I would imagine that order of preference is Premier League, Europe, Carabao Cup, and the other team. Like yeah, I think I think that'd be fair. I think most uh, Premier League managers would accept that, especially the ones who are in Europe. Uh, look, but every cup competition is an opportunity. You know, last year when we were. Trying to win the the conference league, you know, you you go in it and you try and win the group, and then you try and get through in the next round. Before you know it, you can get yourself through. So, uh, it's the same in in this cup con competition. If we can keep progressing, then we get much closer to the final. I guess in the normal circumstances, then uh, Lucas Pakatar and Edson Alvarez might might be rested tomorrow night, but. As they're suspended for the weekend, will that mm -hmm. will that be a factor in your? Opinion? Well, it's a factor because I can't use them at the weekend. You know. Uh, I'm disappointed that you know we've we've got that situation. We've got a couple been booked and suspended, but but that's the the way the the leagues decided to go this year. Lots of bookings. I think last season we we had the least amount of bookings in the whole of the Premier League, and suddenly we've got a couple of players suspended in the the first couple of months of the season. European trophy, obviously, at the end of last season, flying at the start of the season. I think you went seven of your opening ten games. Mm -hmm. In all competitions, you lose a few, and the narrative seems to change. Does that ever surprise you? <laughs> no, but look, look, we we can't deny it. We had a we had a bad week, but if you look at what we've done in the other, I don't know, seven eight weeks prior to it, we've been pretty pleased with what we've done. Some good results, some hard games, uh, great start in the in the conference league. So, yeah, last week was a difficult week, and uh, we want to get back on track and and get rid of those couple of bad results. So that's obviously. In your thinking, when you do select a team, it would be nice to get at least a, a good performance under your belt. Yeah, I think, uh, no, getting a getting a win is is the most important thing. That's uh, as always. So we'll we'll do our best to try and win the game. Obviously, for Declan, um, Mikel Arteta is is saying that he'll be involved. He thinks he'll be involved, mm -hmm. but obviously that could mean on the bench or it could mm -hmm. mean starting. But but either way, he looks like he's going to be back in the London Stadium. Mm -hmm. What kind of response do you hope he'll get? Well, I hope he will be back because uh, you got to remember this is the this is the man who, who lifted the first European trophy in forty five years, was it? European 50, 50 years. So he should get, he should be welcomed back with with open arms, and we're all looking forward to seeing him again. He was a he was a brilliant member of the the team, uh, led the team brilliantly well, uh, conducted himself impeccably. Uh, as a West Ham captain, as a player in his time here, so uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing Deck. I've not seen him since he left, and uh, you know I hope he does. He does well. I don't know if I want him to play, but I hope he's there. <laughs> and it's not always the case that a player leaves, a, an important player leaves, but leaves in the right way. Sometimes it's a bit messy, isn't it? But that wasn't the case. No, well, I, I think if you see the way uh, Deck, you know, conducted himself throughout, you know, he. He was involved with the supporters. He, you know, he was always seen helping the club out when needed. And uh, and if the one thing more, the most important thing was that he gave a hundred percent in every game. Even though, you know, we all sort of knew that he'd probably not be be staying at West Ham. So, all credit to him. He conducted himself brilliantly well, and for that alone, deserves to be cheered. Last time Arsenal came to the London Stadium, you put a bit of a dent in their title ambitions. I think it was. The draw with you came up from two, two nil down. I think that yeah. draw was one of three in a row. Then they lost to Man City yeah. and never really got back to the top of the table. Well, I would, I would hate to think it was just us. It was the reason for it because uh, I know Mikel well and uh, I want him to do really well. But uh, I'm sure he'll, he'll know there was other, other games which played its part. But look, my job's to try and win, draw, get results, and uh, we'll try and do that again in this cup game. And you I don't want to. Be a party pooper, but the dabbling on things like I sometimes have been accused of doing. David. But your personal record against Arsenal in the League Cup is played for, lost for. Uh, what a Preston, remember that? <laughs> what two at Everton mm -hmm. and, and one with Arsenal? Yeah, yeah. But another reason to put that right. Yeah, look, let's remember uh, Arsenal over many, many years have had some great teams, and uh, I was 
fortunate or unfortunate enough to come up against them quite often in the Premier League and in cup competition. So, you know, Arsenal have had great players over, over many years, so it's always been a tough task. Thank you very much. Cheers. Okay. Any questions? Dan um, from Heiters. Well, they've got a really good manager there who you should probably be asking him that question, not me. I can only tell you what he done for me at West Ham and what he done for West Ham. He done a brilliant job here for West Ham. Performed great, as I said, led led ter ter terrifically well. Was a was a great colleague and personality in and around the club and the dressing room. So. Uh, no, we miss him, but we've moved on as well, and we had to do so. I was to ask about um, Amakudis as well. I said a really good game on Sunday despite the result. I mean, how impressed have you been with the way he's adapted to the Premier League and yeah. how unfortunate he'll be going forward? Well, I think, it's, I think it's too early to, to ask MD to uh, have they adapted to the Premier League yet, who came in the summer, because I think that. You know, it, it takes a few months for everybody to, whether they're doing well or whether they're doing badly, you've got to give them some time. I think Mo has settled in quite well and generally. I think he's he's come off the bench and helped us in some games. He started the other day and played well. Uh, I hope we see him as a big player for us, but he's young and we're not we're not pushing too hard, expecting too much too soon. He's been a, a major signing for us and we want him to, to improve and come along at his own speed. What do you say is Best position? Do you think it's the one he played on Sunday? It's like behind that player, think? Uh, I think he's got. I think he he would consider himself being able to play. He could be a midfield player. Uh, he could also be. He could play off the right for us. He's even played centre forward for Ajax as well. I speak to Johnny Heitinger about it. So, I think all those positions are uh, are, are really important for us because we know that it will give us a, a bit of variation and make it harder for people to work out exactly how we're going to play as well. Arsenal obviously uh, made some big signings in the summer. Can you notice a difference between them this season? Sorry, I missed the first bit. As I was saying, Arsenal made some big, big signings in the summer. Obviously, Declan must be one of them. Can you see the difference between them last season and this season? Do you think there's a change well, the well, again, they've got a really good manager who would answer that question much better than me. Sure, thank you. Okay, any others, Ellen? Can we see an old change in how your midfield is obviously with I think we I think we're changing ourselves. I think we we've uh, we're probably playing a slightly more open and expansive game than we've played before. Uh, which in some ways is good but in other ways not. So we are we're trying to look to open things up a little bit more. But again, you know, there's some games in the Premier League where, you know, it's very hard. If you're not going to have the ball, you, you don't need to be a rocket scientist to work out what games they might be. Uh, there'll be other games where you have much more of the ball and maybe you can play with some more flair players and try try other ways. So uh, we're certainly certainly trying to do that. And uh, look, I think we've we've shown some really good signs in the early part. We've not had a good week last week, but uh, we're showing some really good signs and and I think I think improvement in some of our football. And also you asked about it on Sunday about the possession stats and how the team seemed to sort of thrive in that counter attack and no, we we practice we practice we you know all the time to keep the ball. Most teams do, you know, you're practicing no no don't give the ball away, make sure you're in possession of the ball. And I think I think that uh, there has been signs we, we've got better, but lots of our form over the last few years, or even if you look at the start of our season was maybe when we we didn't have as much of the ball. So uh, having having possession doesn't necessarily mean that you win the games and I've said many times when I was when I was winning with very little possession, I was happy to to win, and it's the same. I'd like to win rather than have possession if that's what if that's what it comes down to. But if you can have good possession and win, then that's uh, that's a double whammy. But then when you get, I guess, Arsenal team who generally have a lot more possession. Yes, they do. In average games, yeah. you kind of think that maybe because of how things have gone for West Ham this season, that for some you can pick up a bit more of a chance because you can get into those spaces. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But I think there's also part of us, as I said, I alluded to there, that you know, we're trying to find a way of becoming uh, 
a little bit more open and a little bit more trying to find if we can get some more attacks. Now, our last couple of games we've hardly made any chances, which is the surprise to me more than anything. Uh, because that's not been the way we've we've been sort of training towards or what we've been doing. So it's a bit we need to sort of keep working on to see if we can get more chances from what we're doing. And if we don't, then obviously we'd need to go back and sit in a low block and wait and counter-attack teams when those opportunities come.